So hi, in today's video, I'm gonna keep it quick and short and answer the question that I haven't really got that often, but I just wanna explain it. Um, so why did I move to Miami after teaching abroad in Spain? So the first time I went abroad to teach in Spain for the Auxiliares de Conversacion program, I went in 2007, way back in 2007 when they paid 630 euros a month. Anyway, back in that time, um, I stayed for two years and then I actually stayed almost two and a half, just kept going. But in the fall of 2009, I moved back to Nashville where my parents live and I was starting a master's there. Um, but it was like once a month or something like that. And I thought, hey, why don't I move to my grandmother's house in Fort Lauderdale, Miami area. My, Fort Lauderdale is like just about 30 minutes north of Miami. Um, so, I thought, well, everyone's speaking Spanish in Miami, or at least that's what I've heard. And at least I can kind of feel like I'm living in a different environment without having to have a visa, passport, blah, 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 etc. difficulty, work visa, all of that. So I moved in January, 2010 to uh, the Miami, Fort Lauderdale area and started living with my grandma. And first job I got down here was teaching at a language academy, which was Kaplan International or Kaplan English International, like that. Uh, Kaplan, just like the company that makes the books, uh, the like test prep books and things like that. Um, so that was my first job here and actually I really loved that job. I only worked there for maybe three or four months because um, then I had to move back to Tennessee to finish my master's. Uh, I was doing it long distance, but then I decided to move back and stay there for my like research portion of my master's. Um, but I came back to Florida after I finished that. And I've been living here in the uh, South Florida area for almost 10 years, on and off. I've left a few times and came back a few times. And to be honest, like I have mixed feelings about living here. It's not like I really picked it because, uh, you know, it's like a glamorous party headquarters, whatever. Um, I mean, it was just because I had family here. I have family in Tennessee in here, and I just thought, well, this would be kind of cool, and I can save rent money by living at home, or living at my grandma's house. So, and I still live at my grandma's house, so people say, oh, how do you afford that expensive apartment? I'm like, well, hey, it's just my grandma's house, so it kind of all works out. Anyway, to be honest, the area that it's in is not anything glamorous at all. It's really a bunch of retired people, and I kind of have to drive away to see my friends, so it's not you know like I'm living this like high life in downtown Miami or South Beach or whatever though one day maybe I might live there um, we'll see anyway that's why I moved to Miami if you have any other questions about living in Miami or being a teacher in Miami which is really hard <sighs> uh, let me know I might make some more videos on it and anyway guess that's all for today see you in the next video if you haven't subscribed definitely subscribe give this video a thumbs up share it with a friend see you soon Hi, in this quick video, oh, I always forget to look right here. Gosh darn it. Why can't I be so extra like that? Whatever, we're recording anyway.